Hi guys, welcome back to ABOC Studio and in today's video, I will show you how to crochet this choker. I've made a bunch of them and it is very fast to make one. It looks something like this. You put it on your neck and tie it in the back. The pattern for this choker is very simple, so this in-depth tutorial is most suitable for beginner or someone who've never crocheted before. If you are more familiar with crochet, you'll find the link to the short version of this video in the description. Or find that video in the short section of this channel. Now let's see what we need to prepare for this project. Here are some examples of how the choker would turn out with different types of yarn. Personally, I really like this DK cotton yarn or this black one, but I do not recommend black or dark color yarn for beginners, especially absolute beginners because they make it really hard to see the stitches. So if you are a beginner, you might want to practice with brighter color yarn first. And I really recommend this 2.5mm crochet hook for this project. But this pattern is really simple, so if you don't have this hook, you can use other hook size. Um, I made this one with the 3.5mm crochet hook, and you can see that it's already a little bit wonky, so I wouldn't recommend anything bigger than the 3.5mm. So here you can see that we will first make this um, string chain before we get to the main part of the pattern and that's what I'm gonna show you now. So to make chain first we need a slip knot and the slip knot might seem a little bit tricky for absolute beginner but it's actually very very simple. So I would do it quickly first for you to imagine how it is and then I would do it slowly step by step, okay? I hold my yarn like this. This is the tail of the yarn and this is the working yarn. For a slip knot, normally I would just go like this. And that is the slip knot. The point of the slip knot is for this loop to be adjustable by the working yarn, not the tail, all right? Now slowly, you will hold your yarn like this and then put this tail like this around these two fingers and then you put it like this. With your thumb, you can hold it right here. You will see you create a loop around these two fingers, all right? And the tail is on top of this working yarn, forming an X. Then we're gonna take this working yarn and put it on this middle finger like so. Then with your index finger, this one, we're gonna grab and hold it right there. Now what we need to do is to put this loop over the working yarn that we are grabbing right here. So we can just take this loop that we made around this finger off and then pull on this tail to tighten it up. So like this, take it off while still holding the working yarn and then pull the tail. There you have a slip knot so the tail would stay the same length all the time and the loop is adjustable with the working yarn okay and that's all so normally i'm just gonna do it quick like this put this loop on the hook and close it to the size of the hook every loop that we put on the hook should be close to the size of the hook it should not be too loose and should not be too tight there should be just enough space like so so that it's easier to work with. You see, you can move your hook comfortably and that it's good enough. Now to make chain, you simply yarn over, put this working yarn over the hook, like so, and pull this through the loop on your hook. And that is the very first chain. Another one, just the same way. Keep the loop on the hook close to the size of the hook and yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. We're gonna repeat this until this chain is long enough and usually for a choker, I would make this chain about 6 inches long. Now that you have this chain, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the main part of the pattern. 
As you can see, the choker has a rhythm which was created by repeating this motif all over again. So what I'm gonna show you next is how to create this motif and then move on to the next one so that you can keep repeating that, all right? Now, as you can see in the rhythm pattern, we are going to double crochet into the third chain. And you see, this is the loop on the hook and it is not a chain. The first chain would be this first V shape that you see on this chain string, all right, right there. First chain, second chain, and third chain. For double crochet, you're gonna first yarn over, like so. Insert the hook into the third chain under the top loop of the V. So this, the top loop and, and the bottom loop, we're gonna insert a hook under this top loop, all right? Like so. Now follow the pattern with the working yarn, you are going to draw our loop. And you will see that you have three loops on the hook, all right? Next, with the working yarn, we're gonna yarn over again and pull through two loops. So we pull that through two loops. We now have two loops on the hook. To finish the double crochet, we're gonna yarn over one more time and again, pull through two loops, like so. And now we are back to one loop and this is a finished double crochet. If you are a beginner and you are still not yet very familiar with a double crochet and you don't see the stitch yet, it's okay. After a few time practicing, you will get more comfortable with it. Okay, now moving on, follow the rhythm pattern. We are going to chain four. So, one, two, three, and four. And this is how it should look like. Next, we are going to turn the work so it's like this and we're gonna turn it from the right to the left like so okay and then slip stitch into the double crochet now if you are familiar with double crochet it's going to be very easy but if not it will be this V right on top of the double crochet that we just create so next to the double crochet there's a chain 2 because we double crochet into the third chain right so the chain 2 the double crochet and on top of that double crochet it's a v it can easily be mistaken with a chain because they all shape like v's so it would be easier if you count this v it will be the fifth v right beneath the chain 4 this v 1 2 three, four, and five, that one. We are going to insert the hook under that both loop of the V. So for slip stitch, you insert the hook under the V on top of the double crochet or the fifth V that you see. And then with a working yarn, you draw our loop. You will see that you have two loops on the hook. And now to finish up the slip stitch, you're gonna pull this loop that you just draw out through the first loop on the hook so like so and there you already see a motif this is the first motif okay now before moving on to the next motif we are going to tighten up the slip stitch that we just did and you do that by holding on the piece the motif pull on the working yarn and the loop on your hook pull it you will see that the slip stitch got tightened up, all right? And that's what we want to do. Now moving on, let's pull this loop so that it's closer to the size of the hook. And then we're going to again create the next motif by chain three. So one, two, three. And then we're going to repeat the exact same pattern that we just did for this motif. Double crochet into the third chain. So for double crochet, yarn over. Insert the hook into the third chain. So first chain, second chain, and third chain, okay? And we insert our hook under the top loop of the V, like so. Now with the working yarn, draw our loop. Three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. 
like so, and yarn over, pull through two loops. And that's a double crochet next to a chain 2. Follow the pattern, we are going to chain 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Turn the work from the right to the left. So, turn it. And then, slip stitch into the double crochet. Or if you are not familiar with double crochet, it will be the fifth V from the hook, okay? We are going to insert a hook right under the V, under both loops of the V, like so. With the working yarn, draw our loop. Now we have two loops on the hook. Finish the slip stitch by pulling this outer loop through this first loop, okay? And then, Tighten up the slip stitch by holding on the piece and pull the working yarn and the loop on the hook. So that's, we have two motif. I will show you one more time slowly. Repeat the same pattern for the motif. We are going to chain three. One, two, and three. Double crochet into the third chain. So yarn over. Insert the hook into the third chain, draw our loop. We have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And then chain four, one, two, three, four. Turn the work from the right to the left, like so. Slip stitch into the double crochet or the fifth V, okay? So insert the hook under the V shape with the working yarn, draw our loop and draw that same loop through the first loop on the hook. Tighten up the slip stitch and that's the third motif. Now we're gonna keep repeating the same pattern. I'm gonna do it one more time with you, okay? So chain three, one, two, and three. Double crochet into the third chain by yarn over, insert the hook in the third chain, draw our loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. All right, chain four, one, two, three, four, now turn the work from the right to the left, slip stitch into the double crochet, the V on top of the double crochet, draw our loop, draw that loop through the loop on your hook, tighten up the slip stitch, and that's another motif, okay? Now repeat the same pattern. To finish off, it's very simple. You're gonna create the same chain um, as this one on the other end and we're gonna need to make it to the same length of this one on the other end, right? So there, we just finished the last motif. We are going to chain by just yarn over and pull through like so all the way until it's long enough and I'll meet you there to show you how to bind off, alright? Okay, so you can see that it is long enough. To bind off, you can just simply loosen up this loop on your hook. And then, cut right here. Pull this working yarn. And there we have it. We're gonna tighten up this loop really tight and do the same thing here and then we can cut close to the chain
that's it. 